Hi folks, I'm Nathan. Uh, we're out here at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds at the 1950s uh, Classic Car Show, and it's cars from 1964 on backwards. And today we are here with Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. And Bob has a beautiful 1950 Chevrolet pickup that he's going to tell us a little bit about. So, uh, you know, we're looking at it right now, and it's absolutely beautiful. And we'll get to all that in a minute, but tell us, uh, first of all, was it like this when you found it? It was not like this. <laughs> I wanted a 1950 Chev five-window pickup, and I wanted one that wasn't too in tough shape. So I put an ad in the Billings, Montana Gazette looking for a 1950 Chev five-window pickup. Okay. And we got a response from somebody. So a friend of mine and I drove out to Billings, and the truck was in a small town located in Rygate, Montana. We liked it, we loaded it on the trailer, and we brought it back. And the most rust that was on the truck is somebody left a pair of bib overhauls on the passenger side floor, and that rotted out. And that but rotted. We didn't care because we weren't gonna use that panel anyway. The battery box was there. And we started disassembling it, took it all apart, and built it from the ground up. And there's a Mustang two front end ax, uh, in uh, two-inch drop spindles. Okay. It's a 330, 350 horse crate engine. And just about a month ago, we installed a uh, fuel injection system. It has a full vintage air, air conditioning, and uh, defrost system, heater defrost system. So it's all set up for the road. It so is. You, you can ride in some comfort. We can. We can go down the road 60, 65 miles an hour, and it's just as smooth as can be. So, so tell me, you know, why, what attracted you, you know, to this particular vehicle or pickup? I just like the looks of this pickup and the five window. The five window was kind of a deluxe model back in 1950. Yes. Because they were all farm trucks. Yep. Um, all right, so um, tell us a little bit about the color here because it's uh, it changes as we move. It does with the sun. It's called a dark blue metallic with fur. Okay. And the paint actually was done by Carver General Repair, a fellow by the name of Tim Boyd did the painting on it. Okay. It, it, it is absolutely beautiful. Let's uh, let's walk back here a second. So, um, this is the original seat. It is the original seat. But then you but but it's powered. So yes. tell us how you managed to do that. A high school classmate of mine did the upholstery, Phil Bliss upholstery. He was a trimmer his whole life. Okay. And in retirement, he was doing street rods. He did mine, and he I wanted bucket seats but he convinced me to use the original seat. That's the original seat that came with the truck. Wow. And he converted it to a six-way power seat. <laughs> now, has, has, uh, have you made any uh, other modifications on the dash? There's a little bit on the dashboard and the steering wheel. The, st the steering column is an I did it steering column, tilt steering wheel. Okay. It has a, uh, there's a 700 R4 transmission in it. And we had, when we put the air conditioning system in, we had to give up the glove box because the uh, unit wouldn't fit under the dash. So we had to take the glove box out and it's right underneath the dash now. Oh, that is just fantastic. And then when we're talking back here about the, the bed of your truck. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful, wow. And I'm getting some of the shots of the color of the truck as well, Nathan, like you said, it goes oh, yeah. from it purple it's, to it's blue. Just, it's beautiful. Okay, so Bob, tell us, uh, you know, so the fuel tank got mounted in a different spot. Yes, it's right underneath the, the bed here. Okay, and then, so that's the fuel uh, That's fuel the fuel cap? cap. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that, is it just heavy? Right down, let me, uh... This is how I work it. Oh, a little suction because, cup. I'm going to get out of your way here. Because once in a while, with the sun, you know, the, the wood might swell. Yeah. So I just put this in here like so. Just pull it out. <laughs> and it just comes right out. So it is a, it's a quick yep. twist. Well, yep. Bob, I'm sorry. Everyone knows your anti-theft uh, yeah. gas uh, <laughs> siphoning <laughs> secret now. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about why you put the gas tank back here. Well, Instead of leave, leaving it where originally, originally it was. they're behind the seat. Oh, and there's a hole in the side of the cab. 
It's a little safer back here. A little safer. And there probably wouldn't have been enough room. Right, okay. With for the changes we made. That you made in yeah. there? Man, this, this is just awesome. So how many years did it take you to, to finish I this? would say we were looking at five. Okay. And you and you had a little help from uh, I did many help. A, a few yeah. people along right. the way. Yeah, and I would uh, I would also take uh, thank a very good friend of mine, Joel Wagner, was very very helpful with me with this project. All right, so there's your thanks, Joe, and now you owe him a beer. <laughs> or, two. That. or two. Or two. Is that or the way two. that works? <laughs> All right. Well, I, I tell you, Bob, thank you so much for sharing your story You're welcome. and, Thanks and for your coming beautiful over. vehicle with us. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for so coming much. Over. Appreciate it. You bet. Thank you.